Can't figure out what to draw? Me too. You have all the time in the world now that you're... But try as you might, nothing works. I've got a couple of ideas you can try out. Singapore where I'm at isn't technically on lockdown yet, so I'm not stuck at home. So this was filmed a few days ago. As of now, Singapore is officially on lockdown. So in the video, you see me go outside, but right now, I'm not going anywhere unless I have to. But I have spent a fair share of my time being holed up in my room, um, just drawing and looking at my computer. You would know that. So if you're stuck at home, let me just share a few things with you that might make making art a little more interesting. I think one of the best things you can do right now is participate in the online community of artists and you know see what they're up to joining on challenges and stuff like that so if you're a traditional painter and you like painting with gouache and acrylic and traditional mediums there is a challenge going on right now by the water painters and it is the plain air april challenge i think i'm gonna paint the view from my window but it's not looking so good it's a bit dingy uh, we're gonna have to spruce things up a little bit. Another challenge that I found is the hashtag mashup art challenge. Artist Mindy Lee came up with this challenge of taking two reference images and then combining it to create a character design. She's put up a few combos on her Twitter, so if you want to use those and follow along, um, definitely go check out the Twitter page. Or you could just come up with your own two images and have some fun with that. This is the latest reference images that Mindy has posted. So I'm just going to follow these and try to come up with my own design. Should be fun. So instead of doing it digitally this time, I want to sketch some thumbnails on post-it notes and then bring that into Photoshop after. Maybe make these shoulders like elephant trunks? When I'm thumbnailing, the thing that I'm thinking about the most is 
the design of the shape. So in this case, the thing that really stands out to me in the reference images are the trunks of the elephants, as well as the shape of the fan. Um, those two things are the ones that really stand out to me the most. And I'm just trying to capture those shapes as the main focus in my character design. Okay, now I'm just going to take a picture of this and then bring it into Photoshop. So I brought the picture into Photoshop and now I'm going to draw it. Okay, so here is the sketch. Now I'm going to color it and make it look nice. This challenge has got to be one of my favorites just because I think it's a really good exercise for not just character design, but designing in general. It really forces you to come up with shapes and designs that you otherwise might not have. And these pictures aren't things that I would have necessarily used in my own work. Sometimes it's things that I didn't even know existed or had never thought about using as inspirations for design just because I wasn't really interested in them. And it makes me want to explore them even more. Uh, a good idea with this challenge is to use the same two images to come up with more than one character design, you know. Really force yourself to explore and push the limits of your design capabilities. Working with these things that are outside your comfort zone. You know, I am a sci-fi guy. I love cyberpunk and I like drawing robots. I make no secret of that. So that is my comfort zone. And drawing things like this um, is really, really interesting to me just because it's so fresh and it really pushes me to learn and grow as a designer. And this challenge is really, really sustainable, I think, just because sometimes, you know, things like Inktober or whatever, after, you know, the first week, it sort of starts to get stale and you get bored of the whole thing and you sort of fall back into a routine of your blah, yeah, I gotta do this every day now. This is a thing that I have to do. But in the case of this challenge, you're getting new content every day. So it keeps things fresh every day and there's always something new to challenge yourself with. And it's always interesting. So I've been doing this challenge for, uh, you know, a few days now and it's always this new really really cool thing that I've never seen before that I get to work with and if you're into char character designs I definitely suggest you follow along and look at what other people are doing just get involved with the community share your work especially right now I think it's really important just to be connected to other people and this is a good way to do that Now, if you're really, really bored, you can try and do what I did and finish a sketchbook in 12 hours or a day. Let's just call it the hashtag 12 hour sketchbook challenge. Okay, so I hope those suggestions were of use to you and hopefully it will make your art making a little bit more interesting at home during these interesting times. Don't forget to smash that like button, comment and subscribe. Bye.